Welcome back. Paula Brown is my kitchen guru, whether it's plates and pretty things to specialty foods. And you go every year to get this. There's a show called the Fancy Food Show. Right. It's in New York City and, and in San Francisco, but we went to the New York City one. Okay. So what can we find at the Fancy Food Show? It's at Javits and it is huge. You can find anything. The hard thing is, is to pare it down when you have a store my size. So that we are very, very selective. Okay, so, uh, and anything we show you, I want to let you know, I will link to it, but paulabrown.com, paulabrownshop.com, all of these things you will ship. So, because these are specialty items, mm -hmm. and these are the things that stood out to you like, oh. yeah. so they all, there's samples of all this stuff when you're walking around, right? Right, right. Okay. You're like on in a food coma at 10 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. But we, we really decided um, after going around, Let's focus on some regions in the United States of America. Something that was interesting, something that you're not going to find in big stores. So artisanal food. Okay. Um, and this is um, a family-owned business called Fat Toad Farm. Fat Toad Farm. And is that a caramel that I'm seeing? Yes. It's a wonderful caramel sauce. And this family actually raises the goats and they milk the goats and they make the sauces and it's so, all organic fat toad farm and this so you can use this on your ice cream you can, you can use, use it over food over, fruit okay um you can use some of some cheeses it's great there's a bourbon um salted um, caramel sauce that is absolutely wonderful the bourbon is from a distillery in kentucky so it's just it's just wonderful, wonderful um, special caramel sauce. It's just to die for. In the um, certified gluten free as well. Mm -hmm. In the fall, we will bringing in, we'll be bringing in handmade caramels from um, goats from Vermont as well. So we're kind of focusing on food in New England, the state of Vermont. Okay. And then here we have. Um, yummy Caramels from Minnesota, and they actually are a family-owned business. What are they called? Annie's? An Annie B. Caramels. Annie B. Okay. Um, and we have them in the 12-pack and the 10-pack at the store. Mm -hmm. But they, right now, my favorite is the Blueberry Caramel. <gasps> Um, it's just wonderful. So, I've never even thought of that together. That's the thing that always amazes me, those combos that yeah. I Yeah, and we have them packaged up at the store, really cute. So this is just a cute little hostess gift for mm -hmm. the summer, and it's amazing how many people love caramels because I have these at my counter, and people go, oh, my God, i got to take, take one. one home. i got to take one. Yeah, no, because so, you don't feel like you're cheating if you just have one. Well, you can't stop, really, no. but they're a great <laughs> little gift. Okay, and so what's this? This looks like um, a little honey thing, is it? But it's not. What is well, this? Well, his name is George, and it's called Num Num Sauce, and it's not a barbecue sauce. It's more or less a finishing sauce. But this was um, in George's family. This recipe for four generations. And this is North Carolina, North, North Carolina. Carolina, and it's Num Num Sauce. Num Num Yum Yum. Num Num, num, num Sauce. But we sell a lot of this, and it, it's good on eggs. It's good on pork. It's good on salmon. It's just a wonderful finishing sauce. And George is um, getting his masters in in Num Num. No. <laughs> And food chemistry at oh. North Carolina State. Okay. So um, he has made this recipe. He has taken it from his family, and he's really making it healthier. And okay. I think it's just delicious. Yeah, I'm just looking at the ingredients here. i got to take my glasses off. But it's all, I mean, I can read every single ingredient, and that is really that when I go shopping, that's what I look yeah. for. Can I read it? All can I pronounce it? All of these have ingredients, and they're all very natural and nothing And this bad. is, you say, it's not so much you put it on during the barbecue process, it's the finisher. The finisher, or correct. If you want extra num num on Yeah, your I love ribs. the name. <laughs> I do too. I mean, perfect. Yeah. All right, then so we then have, what do we have down here? Oh, this, like I said, you know, there's, it's like collecting art and having um, a collection of contemporary art. I really like what we chose because we met this family from South Carolina. Um, he was there with his wife, his daughters, it's, it's, again, it's a multi-generational um, recipe. Okay. Um, this is um, South Carolina Creole sauce. It is fabulous. You don't have to add anything to it. Okay. You can add sausage. You can add chicken if you want, shrimp. And this is real Creole. I mean, you really, really, really yummy. Make Wonderful. Make gumbo or something. You can do that. Uh, um, you can just do 
it plain. We sell his grits from plantation and rice. And these grits are really good with this because they're a creamy grit. They're just wonderful. And they're, they don't overpower or over texture mm -hmm. the Creole sauce because there's a lot of texture in this Creole sauce with no meat. Okay. You can add your meat, whatever you choose. If you're a vegetarian or you're a pescetarian, you can do fish. Mm -hmm. If you like the full blown thing, you can do. If you're a meat atarian, yeah, yes, then you're you also can covered. Do that. You can add. You don't have to add anything though. It's you don't have so to be a good. Atarian of anything, nothing atarian. It's, it's all good food, and it was it was so much fun um, working on regions. And in the fourth quarter, we have more more to come. Okay. So all right, all of these. Um, Again, at Paula Brown's website, you can you can order all of these fantastic things. You I'm, can order them on the website. Oh, okay. They're probably not on the website, but you can call the shop or you can come in the shop. But we ship anywhere, and you you, ship anywhere, you can right. visit our website. Okay. And um, you can leave us a note on our website, and we can do whatever. You can do whatever. Okay. So and on Saturday, sometimes we sample these foods. Mm. But you always can ask for a, tr a sample. Now this to me, so moving from fancy foods to some fancy um, serving pieces, right? Right. Th this, if, if, you know, a lot of times they say, I wish you could smell this. I wish you could touch this at home. This is plastic, right? Right. Talk about this line, um, and, and I think it's going to be big if it's not already. Oh, it's already huge. Okay. It's, uh, we brought this in, um, our first shipment in May because we thought it was like a summer item, but we're finding it's so beautiful that it's going to go through the whole 12 months. It's plastic. This is beautiful. It looks like porcelain. Um, this is a $34 item, so it really is great for a shower gift, a wedding gift. No, we have to put in our store. Believe it or not, I am plastic because people just walk by this and they think, oh, oh that's, that's pretty. Oh, that's expensive. I don't want right. a ceramic dish. This is plastic. Yeah. And the food plated Watch, up. One arm. I'm, it's like nothing. Yeah. It's light. It really is. That's so like neat. We just love it. And then this. It even looks custom, too. It looks like this is my one of a kind piece. Yeah. And like what What's we, the brand name here? What are these called? Q squared. Q squared. But, okay. Um, right now for caprese salad or if you're grilling chicken and you slice it or tenderloin or you line your chops, this is just a really beautiful way to plate food, don't you think? It's I mean, beautiful it, and practical. That's right. the thing. Sometimes if you buy this kind of stuff or give it as a gift, it stays in the in the cabinet. Nobody wants to touch it. Nobody wants to chip it. This is going to be, I think people use it all the time. Right. That's why we're going with it for 12 months out of the year. I don't consider this a plastic wear. Is I just this can... dishwasher safe? Yes, it is. See? Yep. Shut up. <laughs> no. And then you can add these little bowls to this and you can now have your salsa and your you know, whatever you want use this as an appetizer plate okay and then finally the last item we have here that you guys are, are uh, you know selling that this I didn't know this because I'm the last I am not hip oh, yeah, I hardly go anywhere <laughs> no. you, you know but everybody. I am a mule I'm a mule and this is for your <laughs> Moscow mule mug right my right. high school mascot are the mules so anything mule I love and this is a Moscow mule Let's explain what a Moscow mule is first okay of all. Well, that's um, an old-fashioned cocktail, and specialty cocktails are really, really in right now, and, you know, everybody's coming up with their own martinis and mm -hmm. cosmopolitans and... Their own version. And w w whatever, but a Moscow Mule really was around in the 20s, and it was like Humphrey Bogart mm -hmm. got it pop, made it popular. Um, it is vodka, ginger beer, and lime. And it is a really refreshing drink. We sell the ginger beer. Ginger beer is more gingery than burners. Okay. And we sell the ginger beer in a one calorie and a full blown with the sugar. Okay. But we package this so cute with like a six pack of ginger beer and a Moscow Mule and mug. Explain the mug then. The, it's, it's copper. And it keeps it what? What's the copper do for your drink? It keeps it insulated. It keeps it chilled. Okay. And that's the way they always served um it's kind of like a pewter mug for beer years ago but this is serve how your mead in there <laughs> yeah this is how you always serve a moscow mule and fancy restaurants in toledo are acquiring these and adding them on their bar 
If you want to be cool, you're looking for a place with one of these, or you're serving it at your house now yeah. with one of these. And the kids mugs. love it. The kids, the kids know about these. This is like kind of the end drink. Also, the dark and stormy is served in a copper mug, and that is rum and Coke and lime. So a that's a dark stormy. and stormy, but it is a cool. Excellent. All right. So if we're cool, we do this. So mm -hmm. the website again is paulabrownshop.com. Yeah. And uh, you can call, you can email to get connected with some of these really fantastic yeah. products. Or come in. We're on Monroe Street and 10th in downtown Toledo. Right. If you're visiting Park. Toledo, yes. don't forget to visit Paula yes. Brown. All right. Thanks so much. I'm going to go to break now. And we, when we come back, we're going to make some super light. We're going to test some super light recipes in the Weight Watchers 50th Anniversary Cookbook. <laughs>